Monsanto sued him in 2003 for saving their soybeans, which he did not do. He never grew a soybean in his life. As far as we could tell, he's the oldest man in the world to ever have been sued for saving seed since God created seed. I've been growing these seed about 20 years. Some of them may be 30 years. Monsanto sued about seven farmers around here and they threatened to sue 75 farmers. If them was GMO seed and I did it on that machine, it would be illegal. Get sued, lose everything you got. That would be called assisting farmers to violate intellectual property rights. Thousands of years tradition of saving seed is, is over with. In the 1930s, the first U.S. patent was given to a plant. This was given to promote diversity. However, in 1996, when the first GMO seed was introduced, these companies used these rights now to gain their own advantage over the industry, harming farmers, families, and consumers alike. As a result, the agriculture industry has been monopolized by four major businesses due to a series of mergers. These companies, known as the Big Four, now control around 60% of the proprietary seed in the world market. Welcome back to Seed Time and Harvest. As you may know, there's always things to do in the garden, and today we are going to be sprouting our seeds. The Lord has opened a way for us to be able to assist individuals who don't know how to garden or may have a garden but having trouble getting their garden started again, and we've been able to receive the privilege to help. And every garden starts with seeds, so today we're going to be sprouting our seeds. Many people have had hindrances in terms of getting their garden started, but praise God, the entire church received seeds, and not only seeds, but trays to start their seeds. And that was a blessing from God for which we're very thankful. There are many means by which you could get your seeds started. Here we have a 72 peat pellet tray, called, called peat pellet because it has peat moss. So excellent growing medium for starting your seeds. And this is the end result of what it looks like once your seed has germinated. We're going to show you how to start using this pellet tray. what it looks like after our seed pellet has expanded and it's almost ready well it's ready to get our seeds in them before we start the seeds I just want to give you a little bit of information about the seed starting tray it's actually a mini greenhouse kit and it also includes six plant labels so that you're not foreign as to what you're planting and it also includes a dome cover which provides the greenhouse effect. So once all your seeds are in, we'll just cover it and it will act as a greenhouse. Not only that, our kit includes a blank calendar. On this calendar, you'd wanna put the seeds that you started, the dates that you started the seed. On the seed packets, you'll also find the expected germination date. Why you need to know this information is say for instance, I planted pe peppers 
and the peppers are to germinate between 10 to 12 days. If after two weeks I have no peppers in each dome, then I can re-add more peppers and include that date. So it gives you good information on your seeds, your starting dates to even when you're expected to harvest your seeds. The best type of seeds to purchase to grow are heirloom organic seeds. Now these seeds were packaged for a 2021 growing season. After a year, the germination rate will start to decrease. After two years, it will be even lower, but that can be changed if you store your seeds properly. So in two years, if you decide to plant the same seeds, you will have a high probability of them germinating. How do you properly store your seeds? Well, you want to keep them in an airtight container in a cool, dry place. In this tray, we're going to start our beets. And I'll just put two per hole. As you saw, I use a pencil. If once you um, put water in your tray, if the hole closes, you just use a pen or a pencil to re remake the holes. And I'm going to put three broccoli, three beets seed per hole. We actually put two seeds per hole because it is actually more than one seed in each pod. Now we're gonna push them down and squeeze them and cover them. And the beauty about these seed pellets is once they've expanded, you don't have to water them right away because they're already soaked. And that's exactly what beets need to germinate. For them to germinate, you have to provide moisture and heat. So the greenhouse effect of this seed dome will be excellent for getting our seed started. The seed tray is all filled out. We actually like juicing. We do a lot of juicing and so beets are something one of the vegetables that we plant a lot of beets carrots and so we plant it on the entire tray with early wonder beets and you put your label in. Very important to make sure you know what seeds you started and then we're just going to cover it up and that's how we get our seed started. You may be wondering, what do we do so we don't have to keep purchasing seeds? Here we have some bok choy that we, what I do with the bok choy is I harvest the leaves and then I allow the bok choy to grow. And they have already started sending out seeds. And we've been having a lot of pollinators come visit us because of our bok choy. And so it serves a lot of purpose when you let your plants bolt. Not only do you get seeds, but it also attracts pollinators. Mommy, look at, look at the bee. Look at the bee. <laughs> All our seed trays were planted out. We did about six trays with different veggies. It's gonna take about a week and a half for them to get sprouted and an estimated three to four weeks before they can be transplanted. And during that time, we're going to seek out good homes for these plants. Until then, thank you for joining us on Seed Time and Harvest. Happy planting!